Welcome to the lifestyle of the rich and famous. Uh, here we go. Uh, so, have I been here before? Almost certainly, if she knows me. But she rang the PI, and then she knows me as well. Now, this leads me to think I was maybe working with him. Maybe he was watching me to protect me, and that's why he got shot and taken away. That's probably maybe what it was, and that's probably why I was became an arsehole, because maybe I'm all tough and, you know, all of this crap. Anyway, let's have a look around at stuff. There's going to be lots of things to pick up here. What we got? Hey, smoke no more cigarettes. I hear they have a smoking deterrent system built right into the cigarette. Hey, buddy! Do you know a thousand people stop smoking every day by dying, you moron? Kissing you would be like licking an ashtray. Get it, dumbass? Did you know that you and I are similar? We both are certified butthead. No, 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 don't kill me. I have mercy. <laughs> well, the system's about as effective as other systems I've tried. But I'll keep these in case I have a smoking emergency. I'd probably just, yeah, I'd probably still smoke them anyway. Right, okay, so. I think that we were working together, and that's how she knows me. And then, But then why does she get scared when I didn't know who she was? Were they involved with the memory loss? Was it was my memory loss meant to be a good thing? I pfft. who knows. So we went into his office. We're waiting for this encryption to happen from that barbecue restaurant place. We need to find out. We need to find out who this Mason is, and why that cryogenic chamber was taken. What's in there? So I don't know. In terms of. Let's just check behind here. What have we got? I mean, I'm just... I mean, this is going to be quite tough because there's going to be loads of things I need to... Well, there's Waldo. Oh, very funny. Right, so I'm just going to see if there's anything that picks up. Now, what I might do is put my torch on in one of these dark places. Anything here that I can move? Just got to watch for anything you can kind of move, you know? Uh, no, no. Okay, there's nothing around here then. What have we got here? Neurosurgery for dumbasses. Right, so Mason was a neurosurgeon. We know that. So, hmm. was Mason the woman? Have I completely missed the plot here? Have I completely missed it? Was Mason? Because Mason was a neurosurgeon. We're at her beach house, and there's a neurosurgery book here. Well, that it's my kind of book. Hmm. It does lead me to think that there is something going on here. Barrels make any interior space look more rugged. More rugged. There is something that I reckon she is the doctor. I reckon she is, you know. Oh, we can open the teapot. Oh, oh. Baseball card? Huh, used to collect these as a kid. Now I collect past due notices. Okay, what's, 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 he, what's written on there? That is... Oh, I don't know. I don't know if that's really uh, important. All right. Okay. Let's have a look down here. Look. What do we got? We've got some doors. Mm, that's a nice bathroom. Mm. Yeah, rub a dub dub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do we got? Ooh, what do we got here? Well, one man's trash is a PI's clue. Let's have a look. What do we got? What is that? Mason, ah, I reckon that is Mason. So that is Mason. So that bloke said, by Mason. So it is the woman, I reckon. So my sources are questioning your uh, allegiance. Surely after all we've been through, you would not work against me and turn to her. Oh, maybe she isn't Mason then. You have been very well paid for your work, and I do not take kindly to those who betray me. Tea. Please tell me that tea doesn't mean tech. Because if she's hung up on me, is she, is she scared of me? Now, she's obviously not Mason, then. Unless it is Mason, and she is obviously, you know, gone out with a woman. I don't know, but I think it's a bloke still, maybe. Now, that worries me. Is that tea pile of... Is that tea from text for me? Another Mike and I Hammer candy comic. Gun drops and lollipops. I'll put this in my comic book rack collection in my office. Mm. Can move this picture. Tsunami! Oh, hilarious. I thought that was going to be something really important then. Mm. Anything here? No. No. Uh, anything here? No. Right. Let's 
have a look at this one. Ooh. The kit shop. Alright, open all the cupboards, I think. This is where the game gets difficult when you can't find anything, you're not sure where do I go, you know. Close the door, that's pretty, that's pretty nice, you know. Hmm. Oh, another baseball. No, please say this isn't just a point. Well, that might come in handy. Please say this is not just another point. I've got two of these now. Why have I got, why have I got two now? See, that is bothering me, this one, because i got a feeling if I was, if, See, if I was an arsehole when I lost my memory, <sighs> does that mean that basically... Hmm, don't know. Pots and pans. Anything in here? Hmm, no. Standard groceries, and none of them look very edible. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, there must be something I can eat around here. Nothing really, I don't think. Close on these cupboards. No. Hmm. What's that? That's a terrible place for a petri dish. Now, why have I got a petri? Oh, what's in there? Ooh. Now, a petri dish, isn't it? Where they normally would do, put germs or all sorts. So, what have they been making in there and cooking? Plot thickens. The plot thickens. Really? They found someone to eat this crap? Mm, nothing here. Mm. Well, I've still got the ups another door and then the upstairs to look at. So this isn't going to be complete. Bust. Because there is some stuff around here. What have we got? Pillaging must be one of their hobbies. Hmm. Mm, okay. Her office now. What have we got? Sometimes a cigar is just a cigar, if you, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I know. Right. What do we have? Another car. Now I could use that. Why could you use it? I don't understand. Is that something? Ah. Baseball legends. I've got to put them in order. How many have I got? I've got three. Hmm. So, all right, I've got to find six more here. Uh, now, if I've got to put something here, I want to put the safe behind here. This frame needs nine baseball cards. I think I've got to put Yeah, I think I got that's that's not not much there. What have we got? Central Intelligence Agency. Wrong form of it. Come on, people. Corrections and work in the field of neurosurgery being a great service to your country. Right, so this is to Mason, but we st I think it's I think it's just she was just a wife or something. I don't know what she had. Mason, Bowers, viewers, I <laughs> still don't know which, which, how'd you pronounce that, you know? Well, I don't think a lot of studying went on in here with that flat screen TV on the wall. Any drawers? Alright, I think I've got stairs, so I've got three, I've got six more to get. It's a nice place. Oh, no. Uh, it's one of these codes. Now, I can see there's a door here. Hello, what's this? Looks like another room behind this wall, but how do I open it? Well, I, let me tell you, Mr. Murphy. You open it with this here keypad. Now, I'm wondering if I put those baseball cards on the 
What will they make up a code? I don't know, but I've got to find so many. And I if the owner's ventriloquist dummies in here, I'm going to be very upset. I'm going to, I'm going to have trouble finding this lot. Hmm. Fire still burning, so someone was still here. Well, I see they like to keep things hot in the bedroom. Oh, but they do, yes. Yes, yes, I think you're right. Oh. Okay, now creating this, creating that. I need those baseball cards. An old Zoom portable music device. <laughs> yeah, I remember when I was a kid, my mom got me one of these while all the other kids were getting iPads and iPods. I remember just how I felt that day. Yeah, it's pretty very disappointing. Wonder what happened to it. Oh yeah. Now I remember. You've just ruined that floor, man. You have just ruined the floor. Right. I'm not having any success at the moment finding stuff. Oh, what's that? Now I could use that. Yes, so I've got four now. Hmm. Did I open these? No, I didn't. Did I open these? No, I didn't, did I? No. Hmm. Two beds. There's two beds here. Obviously, two people slept here. I don't know. What have we got? Oh. So Mike and I came our candy comic. You, Sleep with a Swedish fish. I put this in my comic book rack collection in my office. Oh, okay, big text. You do that, buddy. Yeah. All right. There's nothing here. Right. So, is it here? Is this the one? This is the office, isn't it? Right. So, if I do that. That was a waste of time. I got to collect them all. Classic. These baseball cards are great collectibles. Guess I better not be. This frame needs nine baseball cards. So. Well, that was stupid. Well, not really, mate, because they have got to go in there. I'm just not sure. Hmm. Do you know something? Oh, what's this? Oh, hang on. Oh, God. Well, that might come in handy. Yes, really? Yes. Uh, I keep missing this. Keep missing this. What's this one? Ah, uh, the soothing, sultry siren song of a red cat. Mm. So how many have I got now? Five. What I might do, if I turn the torch on, now what happens is when you have something you can remove, it sparkles. Yes, it's a little bit of a cheat, but I'm just here we go, desperate. This coffee table's a special design. It's got a hidden drawer. More stuff, look. Mm. Oh my god, I just did that randomly. Oh my god. Well, one man's trash is. Hello. Hello. Let's have a look. What do we pick up then? So, we got another letter. Mason, the cryogenic sleep state that has caused so much physical and mental damage to the Morlocks is beginning to affect me. The fresh disease seems to be speeding up, causing serious dis uh, deterioration. Oh, dissertation on the right side of my face. I hope you will have a solution for me soon. Jeez. Mm. 
deterioration on the right side of my face. Right, so this... I reckon this must be from me. This must be from tech. There's no other reason. I reckon I was... I wonder if I was... So I was doing an experiment. Now, was I undercover? Oh, my word. Plot thickens. What we got? The eight lost rules of etiquette. A kind greeting such as hello. Four, three, five, five, six. Ah, uh, now is that the code? Is that going to be that simple? I hope these baseball cards just aren't points. I hope they do something. Now, where is that? Um, where is that? Oh, it's upstairs, isn't it? Is that code? Ah, right, okay. So what was the code again? What do we got? 43556, five, five, right. 43556. Oh my god, that was word. Oh my god. Uh, I reckon I was I reckon I was on that. Oh Day three. Hoping to find more information about why sleazy P.I. Carlos Maldonado has been keeping an eye on my place leads me to a swanky beach house where I'm delighted and surprised to meet an incredibly beautiful woman inside a home medical office. Unfortunately for me, the feeling is not mutual and she's accompanied by a very lethal friend. Freeze. What are you doing here? Well, we had such a charming conversation on the vid phone. I knew I had to meet you. Now I'm rethinking that. You don't remember me, do you? Wish I had, though. Well, I wish I did. Yeah, Does that count? We met just once, years ago. Oh, my God. So did you really come here looking for me? Or are you here for Mason? I'm sorry. The correct answer is C, all of the above. I came here to find you, but it's Mason I'm looking for. Well, you'll have to make do with me. Mason isn't here. So how do you know Mason? In the biblical sense, I'm his wife, Ariel. Ariel Bowers. Oh, it's Bowers. When was the last time you saw him? Over a month ago. <laughs> no kidding. A wife like you, I'm surprised he ever leaves the house. <laughs> We've been legally separated for over a month. He has issues, erratic behavior, periods of deep depression. It got to be too much. Psychological problems, huh? What are we talking here? He ties his shoe for an hour or he walks into Burger Barn with dynamite in his pants? Mm. I think it was just a reaction to stress. His work kept him away for weeks at a time. So I heard your husband was a neurologist, like a brain surgeon or something. Or something, yes. He worked in neurochemistry, how chemicals influence neural operations. So who's he working for now? Mason never talked about his work, even before we separated. But we stayed in touch. This was the longest he ever went without calling me. I got worried and came here. I found Maldonado's number and called to see if he knew anything. Yeah, well, Maldonado's not going to be able to help us much because he's dead. Da, da, da. Is that who you were coming to see on Chandler Avenue? Yes, that's right. What happened to him? Well, I'm not sure, but I'm trying to find out. But the trail seems to lead through your husband, who, by the way, I believe has been abducted. Abducted? Now I'm worried sick. What are we going to do? Well, to start with, if you could think of anything that could help me out here to find him... That would be a big help. I will. Feel free to look around here. I wish I could stay and help, but uh, I'll give you my number so you can call me later. Uh -huh. And sorry about the gun to the head thing. It's right, oh, it's darling. okay. I've just got one of those faces that probably look better with a hole in it. Mm. Kiss him. Right, okay, so. I have my doubts about Ariel Bauer's motivation. She certainly seems to have an agenda which includes more than just her husband's well-being. What's she up to? Hubba, hubba, whoo! Is it hot in here or did my internal fan just crash? Well, it feels like I'm being played for a sap. Oh, come on, she's just getting ready to play the field. I'd like to bring her over for a debugging session. Oh, <laughs> okay, enough. Right. So was that, so he was abducted then, so it was Mason that was abducted. Why was he there? Why was he in um, Chandler Avenue? 
It's all a bit strange. What's this then? Unfortunately, it's not the tunnel of love. Oh, the tunnel of love. I'm pressing the reset. I'm sure these MRI pictures are showing me something. Something to do with the brain and uh, down here in the uh, manly area. Hmm. Ooh, buzzing coming from there. What have we got? Normal brain, thyroid diseases, human stomach. Just looking at this gives me an icky feeling. Oh, shut up. All right, let's go down the back here. I'm getting out. All right, let's go and take a look around. What have we got in here? Another code. Sh oops, surely it's not saying. Let's try and do something. It's a three code thing. All right. Okay. Right, what have we got? I'm sure these MRI pictures are showing me oh, something. Something. Hmm. What have we got? Ooh. They drilled a hole in my skull. I was awake and it hurt a lot. The kind of thing that goes without saying. Ooh. I have a Ooh, facts, facts. Again, why are they using faxes like 200 years in the future when we're not using faxes now? Looks like Carlos Maldonado was trying to get a hold of Mason about someone named Margaret Leonard. Right, where's the fax? Let's have a look. What does it say? Looks like Margaret Leonard is going rogue. What should I do? Unless Margaret Leonard is that woman, and it's not Ariel. Mm, interesting. If I found a flash drive, I could connect it to the video screen. Well, maybe I can get one when I get that encrypt decrypted. Oh, there we go. Well, I wonder what's on this little device. Well, let's just try and find it. I wish I had a flash device. What, what? Uh, you'd need a PhD to understand any of these uh, books. Okay, right. So let's use this then. Let's not waste any time. Long-lasting memories are created through a process of mm. consolidation, which is based on the formations of protein in the brain. Thus, memories, particularly painful ones, are formed by these unstable proteins, making them easily identifiable and removed with a combination of drugs and behavior therapy, ensuring memory elimination. Mm. Of course, there are those who do not believe that the benefits of memory modification outweigh the risks. They warn that eliminating memories, one could significantly alter a person's personality, their history. Oh, a fancy device that wipes your memories, hmm? Useful technology. I see applications for anyone who ever went out with you or read the Twilight series. Come on. A bit late for that. Little mercy here for the victim, all right? Why would Bowers want to erase my memory? Hmm. What did I know? Was I wor Again, was I working with him? I just don't know. Do you know, I might just look up whether I need to do that baseball thing because I don't want to waste my time if it's just for points. I mean, really, I really, really don't. Uh, did, did I look in here? I think I did, didn't I? Yeah. Right. Mm. Outside. There's nothing out here I need to look at, is there? Hmm. See, I can't go. I can't go and see the policeman now. I can't. It, in the older games, I could go and see him. I don't. I don't. I, don't, I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Hmm. I better drop by the barbecue joint and see how that dweeb Mojo's doing. All right. Maybe he's decrypted that memory well, stuff. Maybe he yeah, has. about time, too. I need a new lead on this case. Right. Can, I, can I walk there? Oh, sorry. Hang on. That's better. Can I walk there? No. Uh, I've, I've actually got to go outside. No, see, I hate that. All right, let's go and have a look. 
Now there is a code for that cupboard I need as well. Maybe it's on this. So your memory stick's all ready to go. Now, what do you give me for it? A big kiss. <clears throat> Use my excuse. It's too much. Excuse me. You think I'm gonna solve your case for free just because you're my idol? No. The great Tex Murphy wouldn't lift a finger without compensation. Neither will I. Mm. New line of work, brass tax, intimidation. Oh, I want to keep you friendly. Brass tax. So, how much are we talking here? Do you have an action figure? I want something money can't buy. Oh my god, no. New line of work, leftovers, local toy store. Local toy store, I think. You know... You can buy action figures. Oh, yes, we could. I'm surprised you didn't know that. No. Mm. I want an action figure of you. Pervert. Skeptical. How do I know what's on the memory sticks even worth anything? You know how your cases always have a hundred loose ends and you need that one missing piece to tie it all together? Mm. Stage one denial, stage two anger, bewildered. I don't want to piss him off. Um, bewildered. <laughs> Where do you find this stuff out? This could be that one missing piece. Mr. Murphy, you need this. Do I? Well, if you know what's on here, I shall have to kill you afterwards. Empty pockets, stage five, acceptance, still angry. All right, let's just get it from it. Fine. Name your price. Do you remember that sicko who was going around with a liquid nitrogen freeze gun, shooting people and then smashing them? The press called him the Nitro Stalker. You got involved and the cops finally found him a few weeks later, smashed into a million pieces. Mm. Who me, dawning punny, oh, who me? You think I did that? Everybody knows you were behind that bit of freeze-dried justice. The freeze gun was never found and I'm betting you took it. I'll trade you the memory stick straight up for it. Oh my god, I've got to find that now. Alright, you win. I'll see what I can do. Don't know. Brilliant. Thank you, thank you. Right, me useless aren't you? I wonder who'd know about that stupid freeze gun around here. So I haven't got it then. I haven't got the stick. <sighs> Alright, let's go with Louis. He knows all about this, this sort of thing. I hope you don't mind, Mife. I've been telling folks in the neighborhood about your situation, oh, just so they know it's the old tax mm, the dealer the with. Tax. Let me know what else I can do for you. Mm. Freeze gun. You got me there, Moist. Look good you are, Louis. All right, Clint. Then, oh, maybe he knows because he's 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 kind of he's normally with the underworld, isn't he? I mean, he's a bit dodgy, and he has to be more honest. questions. Why you gotta keep coming back with more questions? You want your ass. Right, freeze gun. Can't help you with that. Oh, you're not particular, are you? Uh, right, Clint. Unless I go to Rook, because he might, they might have sold, I might have sold it to him. I have no idea at this moment. Ring bell? There is no a bell, bell will be placed in the lobby if a clerk is on duty. All right. Not good you are. All right, let's go to Rook's place. Well, if it isn't Mr. Van Winkle, oh. what is it I can help you with, Rip? Oh, God. Freeze gun. Well, the freeze gun? The one you pawned that's supposed to belong so. to the Nitro Stalker? Mm. I believe it was purchased by one of those vigilante Morlock hunters. Brilliant. <laughs> Where do I go now? I can't travel to the cop shop, no. I mean, I could end up just uh, asking loads of people here, and I just have no idea. Oh, my word. Hey, Tex. Hey, Tex. How's your case progressing? Mm, let's uh, have a chat about it during the coffee. Not a clue.
Now I still have a problem with this because I've left the beach house, and I think I need I need to get those cards. I think I don't think they're just for points, and I need to get them that covered. That's got that three-digit code. Oh, my word, my word, my word, my word. Clint's not back since... Alright, no, right, okay. All right, let's go back to my office then and just see if I've got anything up here. I'm stuck now. I just don't know. Where to go? Alright, I think I've got to go back to that beach house. Um. Could have a look at Coit Tower. Oh, I've got to go up this that damn lift again, haven't I? Oh, I hate that. Bet, I bet no one does. I'm sure sometime or another I'm gonna end up meeting someone up here. Ah, da 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 da